Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Hemat Ali Shah. I'm super excited to share my brand new video series with you. In this series, uh, we will talk about how to find PhD positions and plan your academic journey for Europe, especially Finland in 2025. I will share all the tips and advices you need to succeed. Please don't forget to hit like button and let's start the exciting series. Let's start the roadmap for PAD position in Finland. There are six important steps to find PAD for yourself in Finland. You have to follow one by one step and, and please uh, follow this video series for each step separately. So number one step is like uh, where to find uh, these uh, research positions or where to find these uh, funded positions in Finland. So we'll cover how many universities like uh, we are going to target. I will cover mostly top 10 universities in Finland. For example, Alto University, and then we will cover the University of Eastern Finland and uh, where you find the PADA funded position in the University of Finland. Then next we will cover Tampere University. It's a city Tampere, very famous for universities and uh, center of Finland. Then we will cover the Oulu University, which is close to the Lapland in North region. Next we will cover the University of Helsinki, the capital city of Finland. And then we will also cover the University of Lapland. Why it is important? It is easy to secure PAD position at Lamp Lapland because of the climate, because of the cold weather. And then next step, the requirements for the PAD, like what is required? Is IELTS required? There is no fees required for the non-EU or anyone in PhD at uh, Finland, but it's still some some programs requires a good proposals and IELTS English requirements. So we will cover second step is a uh, um, admission requirement. Third step is to prepare your proposal, which is very critical, which is very important. Your proposal suggests how talented how interested you are in PAD position. This will define your competency level. I will guide you how you can prepare good research proposal. Like we have uh, AI tools, chat GPT available. What I can give you tips how to make a good research pro proposal according to the you according to supervisor profile. For example, we cluster the same sort of research papers and from the same research papers, we find good proposal using AI, different AI tools. Modern AI tools are very efficient and very intelligent that make very good research plan. They will also give you graphic, graphics, pictures, workflow, and once your supervisor uh, find your read your uh, email with a research plan he will definitely uh, make uh, interest in your research plan next is uh, finding the supervisor which is most critical thing finding a supervisor is equal to finding a girlfriend for yourself so you have to be very very careful and uh, very uh, smart and make a good use of uh, resources and and don't write uh, too much text in the email and detail about your academic background just write simple email initially to at least start communication and don't rush to supervisor wait, wait patiently these are very important terms that i have learned throughout the years i spent during the pat so I will, I will also guide you, give you, give you tips how, what to write, what not to write, and who to write. So next fourth step is to find the supervisor. Once you find supervisor, once you find the program, then apply for funding. 
up up left there are like two options there are like a funded options and there are like non funded options like funded options have always competition so it is totally depend upon your application the quality of the application one of my friend from pakistan applied for the phd and i asked my supervisor please uh, read his uh, uh, read his application and go through his application and so my supervisor uh, read his email and his cv he said that there are uh, very uh, simple uh, childish mistakes in his cv so spelling and grammatical mistakes were there in his cv so my supervisor say he's not serious person so quality of application is very vital and very important so a single word what you're writing in your application is very important it suggests your background and your competency level it's very important that you write application very seriously you just put much effort and time one of my friend who was uh, uh, working with me in masters uh, he said to me one day that I'm going for uh, holidays. I said, how long you are going for holiday? He said, I'm going for two months. I said, two months? For what reason? He said, I have to apply for the PAD positions and I will write different application. I want to spend much time on single application, at least one week for one application. So see how it is uh, valuable how it is important to that you spend more time writing good application not, ju not just uh, writing the same email from chat gpt or forwarding some same sort of simple motivational letter or research plan so you have to think and you have to spend much time i'm sure if you spend much time and make it uh, good application quality application i'm damn sure definitely your uh, potential supervisor will apply to you and will hire you and he will also give you the money and uh, funding if you are talented and then once we have everything then we submit the application and after submitting application you have to wait for the result and uh, then you have apply for the securing admission at the university once uh, the supervisor gives you the signal for that yes he is going to hire you he is going to give you funding and he is going to supervise you at least if he's giving you funding or not at least he's going to supervise you that is a big thing once you find promise from the supervisor then you start filling application at university e portal so I will also guide you how to fill application at university portal and what is the right place where to go after finding the supervisor. Please keep watching the series and I will keep uploading the different videos and with the passage of time. Thank you very much.